Hey, what's going on? Uh, just enjoying that smell of peanut butter in Lexington. Yeah, it's a pretty good smell. Love it. Gets my appetite going for lunch. Oh, yeah. What are you up to? It's about lunchtime. I was just walking to lunch, actually. Oh, very so, nice. Yeah. Um, how about those stakes races this weekend? Oh, man. I did not have I'll strike a nerve. Not that many people did it 100 plus to one, but. Yeah, that was with... pretty one, a tough one to have. Absolutely. It wasn't much of a play on Bristnet, at least, <laughs> that's for sure. No. But uh, Code West ran pretty well, I thought. Yeah, absolutely. I actually think the top five ran okay in that race. I think the high mutual makes people think to think it was a worse race than it was. But maybe I'm reinventing history because I fell for Normandy invasion and the strength of the Remsen. Yeah, I mean, he was a little far back, but so was the winner. So you might yeah, have to see, you know, you don't know Trouble what happened. Trouble early, stuff. but. Yeah, we'll but he was that. closing pretty fast. Absolutely. And Oxbow didn't really embarrass himself either. No, so. Callus Mouse was there. I mean, they all looked like they could win at the end. So yeah. we'll see what happens next The stop. interesting part about this past weekend, I think, is uh, the Super 99 allowance race over at Santa Anita because he beat Code West right. and the horse that won the t- uh, Turf Paradise Derby this past weekend. So. Persuasive Paul? Yeah, Persuasive oh. Paul. So you get a, it's a fun name. Yeah, it's a sneaky horse on the, uh, on <laughs> the right. derby trail. So, Someone uh, derby next, maybe? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. The numbers definitely came better on that race than the, the Sunland race with Dry Summer. Yeah, so. I, that race didn't seem to be too impressive, but as you know, with those two three-year-olds, they definitely can change. And, uh, oh, yeah. Well, look at Orb. Yeah, well, speaking of changing, you got Violence getting hurt, yeah. unfortunately, coming off the derby trail, but he ran a huge race in the uh, Fountain of Youth. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot of people thought the Risen Star was the race falling apart, but really, I mean, the winner there was closing fast, and the Fountain of Youth looked like Orb was closing fast, but really the middle part of that race was electric. Yeah, I mean, to go eight and change uh, for the three quarters yeah. is pretty impressive, and like yeah, I said, absolutely. unfortunately, he's now hurt. I thought he was going to be a pretty good derby play myself, especially in the future bets coming up this weekend. Right, yeah, off the loss. Yeah, yeah Not Orb. I mean, he was... Fu- you know, he won, and I didn't like him going in, but I, I still think 5-1 to one was too light. Oh, yeah. I mean, 12-1 to one was basically what he should have been. Right. I mean, he was bet down severely, and I know a lot of people backed him, and I know Suge was high on him and yeah. stuff. So, uh, you know, we'll see what ha- what happens going forward. Well, he's in the future pool now. Are you going to get involved at all? Yeah, I think I am. Uh, first place with Paul's, you know, on the, <laughs> on the field, but uh, yeah. I think he can get some good value coming up this weekend. All right. Yeah, I'll be anxious to see how they bet Verrazano before his big run a week from now, but with only the Gotham this week, not a lot of action. So if no, you no. like someone, now's the time. Yeah, this is definitely time to, to hop on. All right. Well, I'm glad we had this chat. Persuasive Paul, that's a good angle. Yeah, it's a great angle. At least it's a, a good uh, sneaky play. Hmm. But we got to be honest. Yeah. We didn't really just run into each other. No, I don't here. walk around town with a mic on. <laughs> I do, but not for this purpose. <laughs> but this is our first edition of the Bullet Train Derby platform. Yeah, presented by Bristnet. Uh, we'll be doing this every Monday and uh, giving you the uh, recap of the Triple Crown uh, preview races and uh, get some uh, Brist numbers. Yeah, all around town, too, not just where there's peanut butter. Yeah, we'll be a uh, new location every Monday. <laughs> so uh, we'll see you next Monday. All right, all aboard.